got his cameraman. What we got is three cups of cement, one and a half cups of water for the 0.5 paste ratio. We're using a 1, 2, 3 overall ratio. So if we got three cups of cement, we need six cups of sand. That's five in there so far. So one more cup of sand. Our mixer man is doing a good job. Ours is looking pretty good, dude. For sure. This is number eight. We're about to turn up our mixer, add some MAN on it. Number nine. This is breaking up ratio, uh, regular concrete. Uh, we have some tools. We have our formwork, which is a 12 by 12, about one and a half inch formwork. We have our edger, our float, stick, see that? And our hand trial that we'll be utilizing in order to, uh, to make this concrete. Uh, How's it look? Yeah, to you. Right now he's pouring the first pour. Cement. As you can tell, the consistency is very good. Excellent. Again, this is a one and a half inch by 12 inch by 12 inch one work. John. No, we were like spot on with our amount. Uh, Maybe the end. Okay, I think that's good because we're gonna we gotta like settle. Uh, well, let's let the water settle down to the. Uh, yeah. What do we use a float? Yeah. I think this would be good. It's so to see how an air pocket like that. Um, like a pocket smooth. Unless we wanted to do like a where it's like rough. Uh, uh, somebody get on the other side. We'll just go straight across. Next step, after we pour the concrete, we'll be screen the excess off. Ratio, we need 10.61 ounces of water, which you can see on the 
10.6 ounces of water. Gives us our point three ratio for the water cement. Ratio for the pervious concrete. Which is 3,000 psi. Yeah. All right, nah, that's good. Cool. We'll roll that. Right now he's uh. Not, right now he's mixing the uh, concrete for the pervious. As you see, it's very difficult to mix. That's due to the uh, water cement ratio of 0.3. Uh, uh, we use pretty large aggregate. Uh, it shouldn't be very, very wet. It doesn't require a lot of water. Right now, he's pouring the concrete. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to pour. The main point is the uh, aggregate is a lot bigger, so it takes up a lot more space. Say, see, that's about all you do. You just leave it like this. You don't pack it down. No, well, you, there's a heavy roller. It's not in here. You pack it down as best you can. They they run a real heavy roller. On. And okay. this, that's it. That's a good thing about Pervious. Uh, you're done. Okay. Um, that's looking good. I would say, and my, Professor Hine, look at this. When we were mixing, he said, he said, he said, he said, was good. He said, good. He said like, yeah. if, you, if you clump it in your hand and it doesn't like fall apart, that was good. So that's about what it's going to look like. So make sure you clean up. All right, right now, this, this, this is the finished product that we have. Right here, we have 4,000 PSI concrete at a 0.5 ratio. And right here, this is our pervious concrete uh, rated at 3,000 PSI at a 0.3 ratio. Uh, right now, we have some that will cover up pervious uh, concrete in order to keep the moisture inside so it continues, uh, the hydration process continues. He's going to do that right now. Again, this is the 3,000 PSI uh, concrete. We're going to wrap this concrete up in order to maintain the moisture so the hydration process continues. And that's only going to further strengthen the, uh, the bonding of the cement paste to the aggregate. In conclusion with our concrete experiment, we could have done a better job of mixing, which would have made the concrete more smooth and, con and consistent, as you saw in the, uh, in the big formwork with the large aggregate and the pervious concrete could have been more consistent. We also could have used smaller aggregate, which could make the surface smoother with finer air pockets. <laughs>